Unboxing will be done at Joey's house. refrigerator and freezer um, I've had this thing for about a month now and I love it it's great only flaws I can say so far after about like two like two weeks in three weeks I noticed um, I got a battery bank so it was running off my battery bank and there is a connector right here this actually and cut on and cut off but this little connector right here you just gotta watch it sometimes it'll like I guess it'll get a loose connection I'll come in the fridge will be off I, I don't know why it does it I am actually going to be wiring up a direct 12 volt connection straight to the battery not so I don't have to use this 12 120 volt invert like converter thing um, but other than that I love it it's great I've been keeping it around 32 degrees Fahrenheit, zero degrees Celsius. Um, it's been keeping everything cool. If, it, if anything's frozen, it stays pretty frozen. I might have to drop it a little bit below 32 just because it's kind of hot outside right now. So uh, sometimes it just needs a little bit more of a, you know. But yeah, let's show you how it works real quick. So I have it in this little drawer right now. This is a temporary counter. I'm waiting for, I'm making live edge countertops, they're in the kiln, gotta wait a couple weeks, and I'm waiting to get drawer slides, so, but for the meanwhile, it just sits in my drawer, I can still kind of slide the drawer in and out, but I'm gonna slide it off the tray, let me adjust the camera a little bit, Oops. so yeah, so right here, it plugs in, facing upwards, which is cool, because you don't have to worry about like anything being in your way, like the tray wall, like goes right by it, doesn't hit it. Um, this is the on off button, you hit it once, turns on, hit it twice, or hit it again, turns off. Um, it's off. Motor is kicked on, it's back on. There's two settings. Max mode, which is how you keep it super cool. I've been running it on eco, so I put it, if I want stuff to stay frozen, I put it a little bit below 32 because eco mode saves power, doesn't push as hard, but if you want your stuff to stay frozen, put it on max. You can adjust the temp right here. I'm at negative zero, I'm at negative three degrees Celsius right now. Hit these little up and down buttons, click it once, and you can start adjusting the temperature. So that's 32 degrees, I have it on negative three. And yeah, there's a little compressor in there. It's got a little bottle opener right here. I think it's got another bottle opener on the other side. There's a little cup holder and cutting board that I will show you later in the video. It's got these little handles for carrying it. There's some wheels that I will show you. I've used the wheels and they make life a lot easier because this thing is a little heavy. 
put that back real quick. The wheels are really cool. I'll show you that later in the video. Um, let's show you how much power this thing takes. Right there. Come on, focus. 154 watts. And that is on. Hold up. That is on max mode, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we're on max right now. So at max, you run about 160 some watts, 140 in between there. Switch it over to eco. Okay, now it's an eco. Light turns green. And it drops all the way down. Oh, 40 to 60 watts. Now we're now we're running about 107. It's hard to shake. It's kind of hard to see that. 107 watts. I have had this running for about two days now without charging. Nothing else plugged into it. Two days, and my battery is just at the half point now. So. It's honestly very energy efficient. If you're looking to get a fridge that's durable, I'm a surfer. I'm always out on the beach. I'm always taking my bus out camping. I live in it full time right now. I go to work in it. I keep all my food in it. It stores food for about a week, week and a half, depending on how you eat. Um, and ooh, my alarm's gone. Got to post on Instagram. But it's great I love it like I mean I've done so many things with it already uh, just instinctually like has made everything easier I cook for my friends when we go out surfing of course I have the bus which a lot of people don't have so like and the way it fits like this is about a four foot countertop I'm pretty sure about four feet three and a half feet um, I'd say four but fits perfectly down low gives me room to put some drawers up here too be able to slide that out. I have some drawers here, and my counter, my uh, stove top's gonna go right above it. So it's very, you get a lot of space, but it also is very compact. And when you open it up, only thing you can fill it up with ice also. So this is food's been in here for a while. Jeez. This is just stuff it doesn't need to be in here, but I put it in here anyways. So there's a drainage plug. Sorry about all the mess. See there's a little condensation buildup? That's a drainage plug, so you can just drain it down there. The water level, if I wanted to fill it up with ice, I could, which is super cool. Because it's got electronic components, so it's kind of scary, but it says don't fill above there. So don't fill the water above there because you don't want it splashing up above and getting back in there to the electronics. You close it like this. Use these little straps. Got this little measurement. I don't know if that's for like measuring fish or something. Like you catch a fish, measure it, whatever. Make sure it's the right size. Maybe because it's a very outdoorsy cooler for outdoors people. So I fish a little bit. Don't fish a lot, but that could, it could be used for that. So um, it's got these cool little cup holder slots. It's also got the cup holder tray, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, it's got a cutting board, which can go on either side, which is super cool comes with this handy dandy little bag Instructions. it's just got this little baggie which is really cool so in here I have some hardware for the wheels the wheels are in my storage unit right now because I don't need to use them right now this is one of the little cup holders just clip that on Boop. put your cup in it and some other miscellaneous things in there so it's cool, it comes with a little pouch. But like I said, my personal opinion from having it for this past month, it's amazing, gets the job done right. Just watch out for that little connection. Um, to change it from Celsius to Fahrenheit, it says you have to hold these buttons for like three seconds. I've done it like three times, four times, it didn't work, but I was like, whatever. Not a big deal to me. I know how to read Celsius now. Made me better at doing it, so I just left it like that. But yeah, so definitely recommend it if you are a van bus lifer. These are great, great coolers. They have all types of different coolers. They have dual sided. They have this is just what fit me the best. So thank you, Iceco, for sponsoring this build. Um, I'm stoked to start showing you all the fi finished product. 
this cooler in general just matches our color scheme very well. Adds like a good in between tone. And just wait till we get our countertops in. It's gonna look beautiful. So I'm gonna continue with the video, show y'all a little montage of us out there using it. So I hope y'all like it. Peace. I'm the best. I'm the best. I'm the best.